When the brilliant minds at NASA first launched the Hubble telescope into space, they knew that there were going to be some amazing, startling, revolutionary images sent back to Earth because of it. It was, and still is, one of the largest and most versatile research tools in the history of humanity, and was set to give us our best look at the universe surrounding us. While NASA scientists were well aware that Hubble was going to open our eyes to many scientific wonders, they didn't really know that it was going to also give us glimpses at things that are downright terrifying. And the craziest thing about these images is that they're not from the set of the latest horror film, they're all 100% authentic and real. So, what are some of the most frightening things that Hubble has stumbled upon during its sojourn through the cosmos? Well, let's take a look. Let's start with C.W. Leonis. It is an aging red giant star that seems to be caught in a spider web deep in space. NASA released images of C.W. Leonis taken by Hubble just in time for Halloween one year, which is absolutely appropriate when you take a look at them. The star seems to be tangled in orange-red cobwebs, which are actually dusty clouds of soot carbon that are engulfing the dying star. Scientists say the carbon is produced in the outer layers of C.W. Leonis via nuclear fusion and then spewed into the sky and solar system beyond it. Over the last two decades, observations from Hubble have shown the expansion of these threads of ejected carbon material around the star. The star has an orange-red color thanks to its relatively low surface temperature. When we say relatively low, we still mean scorching hot, but still not as hot as other stars. The temperature on C.W. Leonis is about 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1,260 degrees Celsius. As for our star, it's about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit at the surface. While it may create a creepy image worthy of Halloween decorations, the process occurring is actually quite important for the good of the solar system around it. All known life on Earth is built around the carbon atom. Complex biological molecules consist of carbon atoms that happen to bond with other common elements in the universe. So yes, this is a disturbing image, but it's actually a fundamental and important function. By blasting the carbon back into the deep reaches of space, it provides raw material for the formation of stars and future planets and, most importantly, life. C.W. Leonis is likely not the only star that looks like it's immersed in a space spider web, but it's the one that we have the clearest look at. That's because the star is relatively close to us, allowing us to see it in high detail. The star sits about 400 light years away from Earth and is the closest carbon star we are aware of. This isn't the sole spooky shot that Hubble has taken either. There have been numerous alarming finds from the telescope as it cruises through the stars. Back in 1996, Hubble produced a pic of a young planetary nebula located about 8,000 light years away. Named MYCN18, the nebula appears in an hourglass formation, which is certainly unique and hasn't been spotted before. MYCN18 looks like a pair of large outer rings with a smaller central one. Frankly, the convergence of the two looks like an eye staring back at Hubble. One lone eye deep in the pitch black darkness of space. Pretty creepy, huh? According to one theory, the formation of the hourglass shape is produced by the expansion of a fast stellar wind within a slowly expanding cloud, which is more dense near its equator than its poles. Whatever is causing it, the nebula looks downright haunting. Have you ever seen a nebula glow before? The Hubble telescope sure has, and it's got photographic proof. Back in 2012, Hubble ran across a dead neutron star glowing inside of a nebula. Nicknamed the Crab Nebula, it resides about 6,500 light years away from us in the Taurus constellation and can actually be seen by Earth-bound telescopes. So why does it look so unsettling? Well, the neutron star is spinning rapidly and producing a deadly magnetic field generating one trillion volts. The star actually has the same mass as our Sun, but is pushed and squeezed into an ultra-dense sphere 
which is only a few miles across and is 100 billion times stronger than steel. As for the green, well, NASA added that colouring for effect when it released the pictures on Halloween 2016. NASA once again got into the Halloween mood in October 2020, when it released this Hubble image of a deep space jack-o'-lantern. You can see the resemblance a little bit, can't you? The picture is actually of two galaxies colliding and was nicknamed the Greater Pumpkin in a nod to the classic Charlie Brown animated special. And greater is the right way to describe it, because this pair is incredibly massive. It is estimated that the galaxy pairs span about 100,000 light years. They are currently in a slow motion process of combining into what may end up being one giant spiral galaxy. The two eyes in the Jack O' Lantern are actually the star field cores of each galaxy, containing some supermassive black holes. The somewhat beautiful and definitely disquieting dance of these two galaxies is occurring at a distance of 120 million light years away from us. So, this is definitely the closest we will ever get to this one of a kind interstellar pumpkin. But perhaps the creepiest thing that the Hubble telescope has ever witnessed was a creepy face with a pair of glowing eyes more than 700 million light years away from Earth. It's actually a system called ARP Mandor 2026-424 and consists of a pair of galaxies slamming into one another. NASA says that each eye in the picture is the bright core of a galaxy and the outline of the face is a ring of young blue stars. Other massive clumps of stars form the system's perceived nose and mouth. Perhaps it's the bright light of the eyes or the creepy blue hue floating in space, but something about this picture makes it probably the most unsettling of them all. The process of the two galaxies morphing into one is not a fast one either. While this spooky space face won't last forever, it won't end anytime soon either. That's because the merging of the two galaxies should take about one or two billion years. So, rest assured that for the rest of your lifetime and the lifespan of everyone you'll ever know, this unsettling pair of eyes is looking down at you from far beyond Earth. These photos from the Hubble Space Telescope have completely changed the way we look into the cosmos, but its technology doesn't even come close to NASA's newest invention, the James Webb Telescope. If you want to see how NASA will be using this new telescope to finally find life in the universe, then make sure to click the video on your screen. I'll see you there.